Now I know that Young Thug might not be the first artist that you think of when it comes to drill rappers spinning up the op block, but actually Young Thug can be heard dissing the opposing area of Summerhill in one of his earliest songs, Haiti Slang, where he says, Everybody can't get it, I ain't from Summerhill, but I'm visiting. Now, Summerhill spawned a little known crew in Atlanta called YFN, fronted up by their head honcho, YFN Lucci. Lucci hails from Summerhill in Atlanta. You know, I'm from Summerhill, so I walk over here with my butt, man. We just be kicking it, thinking about way, you know, to get out. Like, how we gonna do it? Now, that clip was actually from a Karen Civil interview with YFN Lucci called Welcome to My Neighborhood. And in that piece, he also took her to the Trestle Tree Village Apartments, a nearby project where his homie, YFN Trey Pound, is from. Now, we in Trestle Tree, the area right here. My, my boy Pound, Trey Pound, you know, he in YFN. I met Pound when I was like eight years old. We went to DA Stan, and they where he stayed at. YFN Lucci broke down the realities of where he's from in a Vibe interview where he said not many make it out. And I'm sure you won't be surprised to find out that Summerhill is a yet another ATL area associated with extensive gang activity. Numerous blood sets have apparently operated around these areas for a number of years, but according to Atlanta Police, one of the most significant crews to click up and emerge out of Summerhill and nearby People's Town in Atlanta is the ABG or Atlanta Blood Gang, with ABG sometimes also standing for anybody get it. Apparently Apparently coming from their members' willingness to act out violence on literally anyone. So yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with these guys. According to the Atlanta police, the ABG are also clicked up with other Atlanta blood sets like the Bird Gang, apparently formed in the early 2000s in Atlanta's Fourth Ward. And according to local police, Atlanta's many blood sets allegedly have ties to the original Inglewood family bloods from Los Angeles. And as we're going to find out later on in this story, the Atlanta bloods have other interstate connections that stretch as far as Miami too. So with all of these blood gang alliances, it's no surprise then that YFN Lucci was apparently also close to fellow Atlanta blood Bloody J, a red rag rocking Atlanta rapper who was apparently getting it in blood way before Dirk and Pooh Shiesty was, with his 2013 track Get It In Blood showing a lot of people for the first time that Atlanta had a big blood gang movement too. So you've got the Atlanta blood gang running in the streets with the red rags, and much like YSL, if you ask the Atlanta police, they would tell you that YFN is another violent blood set that's committing crimes in the streets, as well as having ties in the music industry. But if you ask YFN Lucci, he would say YFN is not a gang, it's his rap collective and record label. YFN, of course, standing for Young Fly. Yeah. And the YFN means what? A young Fly nigga. In fact, the full name is YFN BC. Young Fly nigga about cash, because they got a BC at the end, so it's Young Fly nigga about cash. And it's not just Lucci repping YFN either. He's joined by the likes of YFN K, his big brother who got him into rap, YFN Fat, who apparently became a blood at the ripe young age of 15, Ferrari Fred or Fred Rari, a rapper signed to YFN hailing from Miami. Now look, we're gonna get well into the music from artists on both sides of this beef. But for now, let's go back to the very beginning because the beef between these two crews have a lot to do with their careers. Ultimately, both sides had the right idea. Lucci and Thug are both young guys from tough gang infested areas, trying to get out and make a better life for themselves and their families. And at a certain point, both of them realized that they would be better off doing this in the music industry rather than in the streets. But unfortunately, after a long and difficult come up, just as both artists were getting to their peak in the rap game, their unfortunate and violent past just kept on dragging them down. 